Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at geometric series, okay, and if you've watched my video on arithmetic series you can probably guess what this is, right? So a geometric series is a geometric sequence where we add up each of the terms up to a certain point or to infinity sometimes, okay, and I'll show you a basic example of what that's going to look like and then we're going to look at a generic example to try and come up with a formula that's going to tell us the sum up to the nth term, okay. So here's a geometric uh, progression, we've got two, four, 8, 16, so it's being multiplied by a common ratio of 2 each time. And so, say we want to find the sum of the first three terms of this series, okay? The way we would write that is like this. We'd write a capital S and then a subscript 3 like that. So the sum of the first three terms. And so that would be 2 plus 4 plus 8, and we could work that out as 14, okay? But say we wanted to find the sum up to, say, the nth term like this, okay? What would that be? How would we work that out? Well, let's take a look at a generic example, okay, and then I'll show you an example of working it out using it. So, say we take a look at a generic geometric progression with a first term of a, so we'll start off with a, and the common ratio is going to be r, so we're going to multiply each term by r to get to the next. So the next term is going to be ar, the term after that is ar squared, and the term after that ar cubed, and so on all the way up to the nth term, which if you watched my last video, you know the nth term of a geometric progression is gonna be a to the r to the power of n minus one, okay? And so the um, if we were to find the sum of that series up to the nth term, we could write it like this, s of n, and that's gonna be equal to a plus a r plus a r squared plus so on, so on, so on, until we get to, well, the last term is gonna be a r to the power of n minus 1 and the term before that is going to be a r to the power of n minus 2 and the term before that a r to the power of n minus 3 okay hopefully you can see that this it would be the series summed up to the first say n terms now what i'm going to do from here is i'm going to ch change it slightly i'm going to multiply everything by r okay so we're going to do oops, we're going to do r multiplied by the sum of the series up to the nth term and so now this is going to become a r plus a r squared because all I'm doing is multiplying each term by r, okay, because I've multiplied both sides by r here and then I have to multiply every term on the other side by r as well. And so we've then got plus a r cubed plus so on, so on, so on. Well, let's think this a r to the power of n minus 3, okay, a r to the power of n minus 3. If I multiply this by r, that's the same as r to the power of 1. So we're going to then add the powers, and this is going to change to a r to the power of n minus 2. Okay, so using that, that fact, let's rewrite the rest of them. So a r to the power of n minus 2 becomes a r to the power of n minus 1. And the final term, a r to the power of n minus 1, is going to become a r to the power of n. So from here, all I'm going to do now is subtract this r s n from the original sum of the first n terms of the series. And so we're going to get s n subtract r s n. And let's see what happens when I do that, okay? So we've got a, okay, I'm talking about this part here. And then from here, we've got a r, but because we're subtracting r multiplied by s n, I'm going to subtract a r. So these two are going to cancel out. We've then got this a r squared, and then we're subtracting this a r squared, so these are going to cancel out. Next would have been a r cubed, which is going to cancel out with that a r cubed. Then the term before this one here, um, or before this one, would have been this a r to the power of n minus 3. This a r to the power of n minus 2 is going to cancel with that one there, and this is going to cancel here. And so we actually get left with a subtract a r to the power of n, okay, which is quite nice because what we can do now is do some factorizing. So I can factor out this power of s subscript n, and we get left with 1 minus r, and that's going to be equal to a subtract a to the um, multiplied by r to the power of n. And from here, I can divide both sides by 1 minus r, and we get sn, so the sum of the first n terms is going to be a subtract a r to the power of n, all divided by 1 minus r. And if you wanted to, you could factorize out the a from the numerator, and you get a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power of n, divided by 1 minus r. And this is the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression, okay? And I think you're given this formula in the formula book, so you don't need to remember it, but I thought it'd be useful to see where it came from. And so now, let's look at an example. I'll bring the formula down. And so we're told that we are, have a geometric progression that's given by 4, 8, 16, 32. 
okay? And we need to find the sum of the first 10 terms, okay? So obviously you could work it out and add them together, but we're obviously gonna use this formula because that's why we worked it out. So the first term, A, in this sequence is four. You can see that. And the common ratio, well, you can see is two because we're doing four times two is eight, uh, eight times two is 16 and so on, like this here. You could also do eight divided by four to get two or 16 divided by eight, but you can quite clearly see the common ratio is two. So from here, we can now substitute everything we know into our formula for the sum of the series to get it the sum of the first 10 terms. So we're working out S subscript 10. So N is equal to 10 in this example. So we've got A, which is four, multiplied by one minus R, which is two to the power of N, so two to the power of 10, all divided by one minus R, which is two. So let's now work this out. So we've got four, let's do it on my calculator just to save time. So four multiplied by one minus two to the power of 10. And then we're dividing that by one minus two, and we get an answer of the sum of the first 10 terms of 4,092 as our answer. So hopefully this uh, video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share, and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.